my first reaction was the kids, you know, get them inside, get them inside, get them inside. That was what I right away thought of, get the kids inside. Carmen Cordero says she's afraid to celebrate outside during the 4th of July for the last five years. She says she was sitting on her porch when she suddenly felt a sharp pain. I didn't know really what it was until after I saw it and my husband said it. It's a bullet. You're going to have to go to the emergency room and have it removed. Cordero was struck in the arm by a bullet. She says at first she thought it was a bottle rocket firework. Police believe the bullet came from a nearby 22 caliber handgun that was fired in the air. Bullets that go up always come back down. Years passed and uh, throughout the nation when these things happen, people have been injured, sometimes seriously injured. So, you know, and then you could be looking at much more serious charges. Weapons being fired are not the only concern during this holiday. Even the smallest of fireworks can also pose a danger. There's a possibility of your children getting hurt for, you know, by popping fireworks, by leaving them alone, by not supervising the, the children with, uh, you know, that, that have the fireworks. Wesico Fire Chief Santiago Coyar says sparklers can burn at 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, causing nasty burns. Harlingen police want to keep illegal fireworks out of their city. They've beefed up their patrols. Our, our primary goal would be to protect the public and just general safety. Ashley Custer, Action 4 News.